Hello Stevies, welcome to the garage again for another video because um, we've had like a week where it hasn't gotten over zero. That's cold. There hasn't been a temperature in like a week. But so today that gives us time to do something. What are we going to do? Stuff to my bike. I'm going to make the suspension better. If he's comfortable, I should be comfortable too, right? Happy wife, happy life, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, we'll get it out here real quick and then we'll show you exactly what we got. We did not go with the... Uh, what would have been what the norm, I guess. What the legends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we didn't go with that. <laughs> uh, we got something else instead because somebody, we've been told by many people that this is as good, if not just a little bit better, for the soft tail suspension. Foxy. Let's start uh, taking your seat off and uh, start taking the old truck off. Let's do it. Uh, so to do this, you do need a jack or center stand of some kind to take the weight off of the motorcycle. So yeah, the shock is underneath the seat, so Miss Stevie's gonna pull her seat off quick and then we're gonna read some directions and see what we can and can't figure out and, and then we're gonna go over there. Okay, right, so what we ended up doing to make it easier, we just bolted the fender, set it back down onto the, onto the back rear wheel. And now we've got this out, three bolts that comes out, and now we're right there to our shock. And now without the fender right here, it's easier to get to this jam bolt, and then we can unbolt it from here, and then we unbolt it from here. The shock comes off, put the new one on, and then we start setting the new one, and that's going to be... That's it. That's going to be the hardest part, I think, is setting that's fast. it. That's a lot faster than what I thought. Well, it. we're not done yet. No. Never mind. <laughs> All right, you're back. About time, kind of. It looks hurt. I just took the fender off, which was easier, believe it or not. Four bolts, three wiring harnesses, fender comes off. All right, so the shock is here. I've got it busted loose here. I've got it busted loose up here. Now we just need to get the shock out. But before we do that, we've got to take all the weight and the tension off. Uh, okay, so you want to start pumping the jack until we take just a little bit of tension off of this. Like my slippers? <laughs> Uh, that should do it. Oh, we got her darn close is what we did. Just have to know what size. Yeah. So those are the two bolts that hold the bike up. And then this is your shock. stock this shock right here and then we're gonna get and it's all empty <clears throat> um, one really cool thing about this guys it does it's numbered up inside here and then inside the book it tells you the numbers for your weight and stuff but then you have a quick dampening here all right so let's just go right in there that goes right in there So used to it, I just step around her and I don't even know I do it. <laughs> this bolt is a T50. This back bolt. Um, and it just simply can't be that easy, can it? Okay. Right No, I didn't think so. Can we hold that? Yeah. Nope, that's going wrong We're gonna look up the torque spec for this, and then we're gonna to torque it. Cause that's not, what we do. Not torque, torque. We torque everything that's supposed to be torqued. 
I promise. Everything. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta look at Cruzy Moto to find some stuff out. And if nothing else, even if you don't learn what you needed to learn, it's funny. Hmm. <laughs> you don't have to record me watching a video. Okay, we're back. It isn't gonna be exact because I've gotta use adapters and stuff, but. How much 20, is it? 22 foot pounds. Is 22? What, yeah, is what Crucimoto. I thought he said 26. I can get 26 out of 22, you watch. It's not going to be exact because, yeah, I already had it way over, way over that anyway. We got to loosen that jam nut. And then I don't know if we can turn it. I don't really want to turn it with the spanner. Okay, so this is turning now. So I think we actually have to go that way. What is this again? The strap bridge. It does just look like a bungee cord though. It is basically. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we use the directions. We're just gonna get the settings close for right now. And we'll fine tune it after we get the bike completely put back together. But. So now we'll put the fender back on. Uh, we'll get it wired back up. First, we'll get this cross member back on, I guess. And then uh, we'll get Miss Stevie on the bike. And then we will uh, set everything up. That is definitely, if you're doing this on a soft tail deluxe, taking the fender off is definitely the way to do it, I think. <clears throat> it bounced up and down a couple times. Feel any different? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Did I go too far? Stop. Sorry, I thought you were watching. Let me look. I still got to bring the jam nut around. So it really doesn't matter. I still see the number three. Okay. <sighs> check, check. My nose is running. Yeah, they're both working. Okay, Miss Stevie. Hold on. I'm holding. always like trying to talk while I'm adjusting this crap. I'm holding. Oh yeah, Miss Stevie. So you have a Fox shock on your bike now. I do. You want to show them what it's like when you sit on it? Sure. It it acts very much like a Legends shock, doesn't it? It's like a Legends suspension. It's nice. Not gonna lie, it's nice. As she sits down, you'll see it just sits, and we okay, bounce on it once, and that's it. It stops. Mm-hmm. Like it's supposed to. But wait, there's more. We got more for your bike. We did? Yeah. What did we get? They haven't seen it yet. So right now, Miss Stevie's bike is set up in her around the around the town mode. Yeah. Type thing. Um, and as you can see, we took her other saddlebags off, which you guys saw in our last video. I explained what was wrong with those saddlebags. May or may not have packed them too heavy. My trips. A little bit, but I've gone a lot of trips, so <laughs> we've gone a lot of miles on let me, them. Let me set this up quick. So we have a remedy for that now. These are the saddlebags off of a M8 Heritage. Right. So they are much bigger than her old ones. Thank you. Much stronger than her old ones. Thank you. And uh, did not buy these from Harley Davidson. Although Harley Davidson in Lincoln, Nebraska Frontier works with us very closely. Yes, they do. Um, her, these bags um, came from eBay. So it doesn't have the quick detach like your other ones had. But no. we literally just put them on when the bike was set up not to even have them at the moment. Right. So you're saying that the stuff that I had in here in my other bags before mm -hmm. that was full. Mm -hmm. That's it's a mess, I will say that. Mm -hmm. but I put everything in there. Yeah. Your trash. Thanks. Your water bottles. Just to see how much would fit or what? No, just to put same, same. To make it same, same. You know, same, same. Same, same. Same. I can't believe how much room's in there, though. <laughs> a bunch hmm. of crap in here. I know. I dumped it. Yeah, I just dumped I see it all that. in there. 
You know why? Because you didn't care. Same, same. Same, same. <laughs> Everything that was in that one came into this one. Are we Okay, we're going to do this now. All right. So anyway, so this is Miss Stevie's bike. It's her new saddlebags. Her new shock. Hopefully she really enjoys that. She ain't going to stop what she's doing. Because once she starts doing something like this, it ain't going to quit. So we're just going to go ahead and end the video. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool. And then we will see you 